Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Wednesday Web Chat. This is Carl Lewis, your host. Uh, today's topic about what's new in 9.2 will be taking a look at how you can now link user-defined fields with other actual system tables. And we'll see a brief example of that. Today, we're going to take a look at a demo about how you can now link user-defined fields and system tables. This is something that we've been asking for for many years, actually, and it has finally happened in version 9.2. Welcome to our feature clip demonstrating enhancements to user-defined fields and system tables in SAP Business One, release 9.2. When adding a user-defined field to an SAP Business One table, you can now link it to a system table, which allows you to create new and flexible business scenarios. There's no additional need to fill the user-defined field manually or retrieve it from existing master data and have it kept in sync. Now with direct access to the system object, the data is consistent and its integrity is maintained as there is only one single source of the truth for this user-defined field. A simple example is when Jason Butler from OEC Computers would like to create an activity for a phone call with a vendor where a new purchase quotation needs to be negotiated and quality issues of the last items ordered need to be discussed. Jason is able to link a goods receipt and a goods return document to the activity for easy reference during his call with the vendor. So let's see how this is executed in SAP Business One release 9.2. We're now logged in to SAP Business One release 9.2. Jason is initially going to navigate to Tools, Customization Tools, and then select User Defined Fields Management. This will open up the user defined fields management window and from here we are able to select the master data in which we would like to attach the user defined 